Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games and a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is a new one. Strap Day Sports Pro Golf. This is my 33rd week in the Gaming Decathlon, but it's episode 2 of the series. And it's still launch day. And I've actually reset the game. I've had to go through and do some experimentation. There's no wiki or anything to go from. Uh, so with the game just coming out, I'm having to kind of fend for myself and figure it out on my own. So what I've done to figure it out was I did a couple test runs uh, trying to sim through a season and try the different training methods, figure out what works. Uh, looking at some of the options here, uh, under staff members, you have your caddy, but you have your training information, and there's a training budget. And in that training budget, there's actually the option to uh, train for these various amounts from zero to twenty thousand I tried training with zero I trained with zero for about five months and received absolutely zero I said that was a failed experiment I've tried with 500 at best you get copper once every three times bronze once every 10 or 15 times you go broke. Uh, so what I've found now is with at least 3,000 for every training session, it's doing just enough. Just enough to get by and where you earn better star packages. Uh, so apparently the more you spend the better off you are, the, the higher the amounts are that you're going to get. And in turn, if you sell them off, you'll do that much better. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually even raise that higher and see if in the long term that really pays off. So I'm going to raise it to 5000 for now. Uh, even at 3000 I've picked up two platinum stars, and that's what's kept me afloat to where I have a little bit of money. Now going back to my profile, uh, I essentially set up the same profile as I did before, uh, give or take a little bit. Uh, just a couple attribute points. Uh, so in that sense we're looking at the same. The only thing is I have no statistics. Those two rounds that I played aren't there. Uh, but the other thing I did is I also realized that this is very much in it for the long haul. Uh, when you start a game on very hard, you're not going to get competitive early or easily. Though maybe this training method works better, but we'll see. I'm not going to compete in any tournaments in this first year. Why? Because I set myself all the way back to age 10. We're starting young. Getting out on the links, working hard, going to train. Uh, the other thing I learned is if you do nothing but practice rounds and then the occasional rest, that really does not work. Uh, I tried that for six months straight and literally gained one uh, attribute point total. One attribute point total uh, doing practice rounds five days a week for half a year. And the other downside with that one is a practice round it costs $250. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is only training. It's expensive. Rest a few days. And let's see how this does. Now, in theory, spending 20000 a week on average 
I should be able to make better than 20000 a week in selling stars. And then as I get a healthy enough balance, I can then in turn start keeping some of those. There you go, silver star. Copper star. Another silver star. So in three training sessions, I got two silvers and one copper star. And let's do one more to finish the week. And then I have two rest days. Okay, now let's take a look at the profile. So in theory, four training days, three awards, and this time we came out a little bit behind. So there's 16,000 plus 1,000 on the copper. I'm gonna go ahead and not trade that one in. We'll use that for a small upgrade. So I came out a little bit behind on this week. Okay, so woods are up to 30. Uh, how about we go with short irons? So this week I actually lost 4,000. We'll see if uh, it balances out. Ouch, two coppers in three days. Oof, that's terrible. I think all I got was two coppers in four training sessions. Yes, yeah, that's all I got. Ouch. Uh, I'm not going to spend those yet. I'm going to hang on to those. I can't afford too many weeks like that. Okay, there's another copper. Nothing. A th second copper. And a bronze. Maybe I need to go back to 3,000. Well, with cash dwindling, I need to sell all of those. That's two weeks total. Cost me 40,000, I only made 7,000. So maybe going back down to 3,000 would help because that only cost 12,000 per week. And I still, I've managed to get two Platinums. And apparently I don't need three rest days. Looks like I could try to throw in a practice round. Do that there. Okay. Come on, treat me better this week. There's a bronze. No. Two sessions, nothing. There's a copper. So just as I think I find the balance, 
It's gone away from me. And again, if I go broke, it's game over. Because you can't earn a star. The training at zero does not work. So, another week and just one copper. Uh, so I'm going to go back down here and the 3000 was working. I got a couple platinums on it. And that certainly cost less. So that'll cost us 12,000 a week. There's a bronze. That's 3,000. That was three sessions. I can't get in because of the tournament. So that means I made 3,000 and spent 9,000. So another bad week. Not doing any training here. Not when I'm this broke. Need every ounce of cash I can get. Okay, this will be training three days. There's a copper. Still struggling here. It's looking like I might end up going broke again. And from what I found, just straight practice isn't going to make it. It takes a while, but eventually you go broke. I mean, if it's 250 and you do four practice rounds a week, that's a thousand dollars a week. You start with only fifty thousand, so you're going to make it less than a year and you'll go broke and you might pick up a few attribute points and that's all that's not going to get you through a uh, through the cut in a tournament to earn a share of the money so at this point it's looking like I might be going to another reset we might actually do that here within this episode if I do go broke here in a moment because it's still early in the episode and the experiment will continue at some point I will find the balance that is profitable and once it's profitable and I can sustain training you can begin to turn that more and more into Uh, retaining some of those XP and then building up uh, the character. And 
And there's got to be a way for Very Hard to be successful. It can't automatically kill you, right? <laughs> maybe they need maybe they need balancing. drop it to 2000 so I can at least afford a couple training sessions get out of this last day of the week okay we picked up a copper but it cost us 2000 so that's still minus a thousand Let me go above. I think maybe the trick's going to be spending 20,000 and getting the almost certain platinum. Dealing with big money. Not totally broke yet, though, so let's try again here. Nothing. We got nothing. Okay. Let's sim through the end of the week. Got 3,000 left. See, so you lower the amount, the odds are they decrease more and more you're going to get some sort of XP. And there's just too many times that you get nothing on the smaller amounts. just about it. It's just about our last chance and we got nothing on that one. So we have just a thousand dollars left. Last chance. We got a copper. <laughs> Staying alive. For a moment. Got another copper. <laughs> Got a chance. If only a slim one. Okay, train. I don't think we got anything. We did not. We're broke. That's it. This attempt has failed. Alright, so we go to main menu, and go with a new game, and we're going to go for it all the way. 20,000. We'll see if that turns into big training XP. This is all an experiment to figure out how the heck to make this thing work. And I went with... Teresco last time, it's very high and excellent. So, good clubs. Eventually, you become familiar with them, and they're really not that m much more expensive. I'm spending maybe a thousand more, and they last a long time. They'll easily last the whole year and into a second year for a thousand. I'm about to do twenty thousand on a single training session. Okay, last thing to get is I want all the courses. So commissioner and randomized courses. Why? Because I have the expansion pack, but it doesn't do it when you start the game. Okay, and we are ready to go. So let's train and see what do we get. 
a bronze star. For 20,000, we only got a bronze star. Okay, let's, let's train again. Ouch, another bronze star. Boy, this thing is brutal. There's got to be a happy zone. It might not be 20,000. But all I have now is 13. Well, let's just go for it. This is all an experiment. You're here with me as we try to figure this out. <laughs> no star at all, even with 13,000. And now with 200, I can't even afford any training. I figured with amounts that high, it would almost guarantee, and it doesn't. You're still just as likely to not get anything even on those higher amounts. So, yeah, look at it, kind of what I'm dealing with and the instructions. So the above amount is what you'll spend on each training session and staff for the days you choose to train. The higher the amount you spend on your training efforts, the better the chance of generating the highest value XP stars. Note uh, that you are not guaranteed to generate an XP star from a training session. And then XP stars can be used to improve your goal for skills or could be exchanged for cash in the event you are running short and may not be able to continue your career. So. And then here are the amounts in your training budget. Now, I've, I've tested and tested zero. If you train at zero, you're, it's nothing. You will not get an XP star, period. Train at 500, you'll get stars, but it's rare. And it's mostly bronze which a bronze gets you 1,000. It costs 500. So if it was better than 50% of the time, or the incredibly rare, uh, oh, sorry, copper, it'll get you copper, which is 1,000. The incredibly rare bronze, which is 3,000, it still adds up to less than 500 per. Now that 3,000 did net two platinums. And where I went broke on that last one was 5,000s, which didn't net anything. It was amazing. Uh, so 3,000 is a little cheaper. So maybe that happy zone somewhere down here where you can occasionally get the big money one and trade it in to keep your funding and support further trainings and then use some of those lesser ones to slowly build up attributes but that's the thing somewhere in here there has to be a happy median there has to be somewhere that you'll get enough of the higher value stars to continue funding training to, to build your character there's there's no other way because the practice sessions don't work and you're flat out not good enough to compete in the tournaments and the tournaments are a thousand dollars for entry and unless you make the cut you get zero in return 
which means 50 tournaments and you're out of money even if you do nothing but tournaments. And they don't develop your attributes to get better. See, it's quite the predicament. And then going high value doesn't seem to help either. So, is it somewhere in the middle, or is it one of these low-value ones, like, say, 2,000? All right, well, let's try that. We're going to reset. I haven't really messed with 2,000. I've done it a few times, but we'll try 2,000. So, now that we're broke. So, I've reset things again. Uh, this time I made the character 16, but otherwise attributes are the same. Uh, I've tried training at 500 to no avail really uh, all I've done is dropped about ten thousand dollars and I've only picked up two attribute points uh, because I've gotten nothing but copper at a low rate that doesn't make up for it they only trade in for a, th a thousand which means I'd have to get one every two training sessions and that's not the case, which is why I'm minus 10,000 right now. Uh, as a simulation, I can't make a tournament. It's not happening. As a simulation. So here's the trick. I've got to start making some cuts. That's the only way I'm gonna make the funds necessary to train better and get actual decent XP stars. So I've got to make cuts. So here's the plan. We're going to play the round. And I've gone for the complicated triple tap. And we're heading to Bandon. And I'm going to play. So no AI control. I'm gonna play. It's got to be the way. All right, so here we are. Uh, apparently we're targeting here. Target a little more towards the middle. Uh, let's see. Is there a wind? Are you gonna tell me? Slope seven yards. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the little green marker there. So it's blowing out. That's good. And let's swing normal. And let's see, click once on the whole area to aim, and then click a shot button to take a shot. But it's a three tap, and I don't know quite how to do it. So I'm probably going to mess this up. Oh, there we go. I'm guessing this is going to go up and then come back. So that would be happy zone, I'm assuming. Oh, well, that didn't go so well. It jumps. <laughs> So we want to put this to the back of the green? No, probably more in the middle of the green, especially as I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Normal, especially until I figure this out. Okay, that was better. All right, 
right, so we're going to chip this. Or should I flop it? Now we'll just chip it. And I don't need much power. Okay, it's 27 the yardage, and I'm at 19, meaning I want to go. Yeah, I think so. Meaning I want to hit it a little soft. How soft? I don't know. We'll try for over here. Okay. Okay. Figuring it out. Just three feet. And a chance for par. Now, can I skip the aim part? Okay, break, speed zero. We're putting. And three feet. I have no idea how to do the power on this. I would imagine it's a little more than a tap. It didn't let me do a little more than a tap. All right, hey, there you go. We made par. Okay, now I do not want to hit that bunker. I'd rather go this way. Then again, that puts me at the bunker over here. Oh, and the wind's blowing that way. Okay, go normal. Okay, good power, good accuracy. Again, the wind's blowing this way, so this club goes 127, it's 134 to the pin. So we want a little bit extra power. Whoa, okay, when you overshoot, it takes away the accuracy. But I'm there. It's good. All right, six feet. There's no break. It's totally level. And apparently, I need normal power. It automatically sets that up. <laughs> and I got a birdie. is coming back at me so definitely don't want to overdo it so no over swings just normal whoa just over the bunker <laughs> okay yes I'm good at iron so we'll take that Not a great shot. Whoa. Way off target. Part of that's attributes too. Okay, wind's blowing back. Range is 94. And we are 94. All right, 
It's on the green. That's in three. Okay, we're putting. Apparently it's level. Should be a decent putt. Very close. Oop, a little off, but good from here. Being that I am a lefty, I will consider shots as if I'm a lefty. So, let's see, 224 to the pin. There's probably 14 or so here. It's coming back this way. Yeah, that's 200. There's 213. Let's aim over there. Ah. Ooh, they got wet. All right. 42. It's going 45. Shot, very good shot. Uh, this is for par, fifteen feet, not going to be easy. It says it's level. Overshot it. It's going to be a bogey. Oh! Seriously? How did that miss? And how am I three feet away now? Ouch, double bogey. That hurt a lot. Okay, wind's blowing that way. Great shot, and it's on. Okay, there is a slope. Just a little bit uphill. And 18 feet. Probably gonna come up short. Nope, just over. Three feet away. Get in there, get in there. All right, that's a par. 
All right, well, that's the first five holes. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut forward, and we'll come back uh, for the 18th. You'll see how I do on this round. Uh, but I can already see that after five holes, I'm plus one. And the first round that I played, I was plus six after six holes. So definite difference. And I'll see you back on the 18th. Here we are on the 18th. Not looking so good for me. I am a plus 10. It's a par 5. And it's a long one. 563 yards to the pin. Let's see. 210. Plus that win. We'll hit to here. Okay, in many respects I'm getting better, in some, I'm not. All right. right down the middle is fine. I would say that there are at least uh, four of those shots were entirely my mistakes getting used to in fact, I'd say five or six. There's a couple times where you get into these kind of dangerous situations, whether you're in the bunker uh, or in the rough, and it doesn't automatically aim for you. So I'm learning to set that up a little more often. And so you take away those mistakes. It's about five strokes. That's a plus five. So I guess not bad for the first time playing. Uh, however, the attributes are part of it. There are times where you hit a shot perfectly and it hooks or slices and bad. So if you have low attributes and you're playing with the wrong club, one that you're not very good at, it's not going to do well. And like here, I'm making a mistake. I should have played safe. I try to hit a little short. There we go. That's actually a really good shot for me. Here we go. Chance for par. And there you go. All right, so I had two birdies in the round. Uh, I had <laughs> this ugly mess, six on a par three. Uh, two of those strokes were me. One of them was learning about that mistake, and then I had another double bogey here. So a few bad holes. But you take that away, and it's not as bad. A lot of this was that learning process early on. Uh, this was a little bit more of a learning process. And you can see that I had four pars and a birdie. So five of the last seven holes besides the mistake that I made here. Now, leaderboard-wise, I'm going to be out of contention, so this tournament isn't happening. Uh, we'll have to move on to the next one, uh, but that's that's what it's going to take. I'm going to have to keep practicing. I'm going to have to get good. I'm going to have to play the rounds myself in order to make a few cuts and earn a little bit of cash because training can't afford it practice rounds don't develop the attributes well enough so it's got to come down to the tournaments and the sim isn't going to work so I'm going to have to play it and I'm going to have to get good at it and I'll have to get this super weak 
character to make a few cuts. So I'll have to get good enough for that. Uh, let's see how that round ranked. 115, kind of middle of the pack for driving distance. Driving accuracy was really good. Uh, greens and reg was good. My putting average, not good. 1.9. I need work on that. Uh, but I'm not good with the putter. And I was never hitting the greens close to the pin. Uh, and that scoring average is awful. That might be the that is the worst. This is the range. <laughs> I'm at the end, but I can cut out five six strokes. Next round, that's huge. Seventy five is not good, but it's getting closer. All right. Well, there's the the tactic, the strategy. That's where we're gonna go from here. Uh, this is the launch day special episode two. Check back in a couple days from now for the regular post date, which is Thursday for episode three. That does it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my road to the record. Bye for now.